Hi and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Fire Stick 4K Max to your iPhone's hotspot. This will allow you to use the data from your iPhone to stream your TV shows. And if you're concerned with data usage, I'll also show you where you can set up an alert on the Fire Stick. It's not going to block data usage, but it's an alert. So I'll show you that too. But let's start by just identifying the iPhone's name so we know what we're connecting to and then enabling hotspot and then connecting. So we'll start by going to settings on the iPhone and we want to go down to general. This is the, this is the first settings page. So we want to go to general, then about, and you can see the iPhone name just at the top, iPhone C. So we can go back, back again, and let's turn on the personal hotspot, which is just here. Click here. You can see mine's already enabled. If it's not, just click like that. And there's the password I am using. Don't tell anyone. Okay, now you may want to change your password. If you do, just click there and type in a new password. Right, with that information, we can go back to the Fire Stick. I have the controller here. Let's go across to settings. Then we come down and across the top row to network. And here we have the networks and it will start scanning for networks and you can see it's located my iPhone C quite quickly. What I can do now is just click the OK button and it's asking for the password. Let's type in the secret password and press the play button for OK. As you can see, it's now connected. All of the data which is going to my Fire Stick is coming from the iPhone's data package. Now, if I want to disconnect, all I need to do is press the button here on the remote control with three lines, like so, and press select to confirm. And as you can see, it's gone back to being available rather than connected. Now, let's have a look at where we can see the data warnings. We go back across to settings. We come down the list and across the center row to preferences. Just here we have some choices and we want to go to data usage monitoring. Data usage monitoring is on. We can set the video quality, good, better or best. Good, as it says here, saves the most amount of internet data by streaming at lower bit rates and minimizing caching. And we have all the way through to best. And just below that, we have set data alerts where you can go in and set data alerts. Important note, this is for information only, does not block data consumption after 100% is reached. So it will not block data consumption. If this is a concern to you, just be aware. I don't want you to get a big bill. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. And if you have, really appreciate a quick thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Thank you very much for choosing my video and I wish you a great streaming day ahead.